Anger is boiling over in the United States as the country's deadliest school shooting in a decade intensifies the gun control debate. Nearly 24 hours after the Texas attack, it's now known 19 children and two teachers were killed inside a classroom at Robb Elementary. The 18-year-old gunman who killed them had earlier shot his grandmother. The US president has just spoken on the issue, once again declaring he is sick and tired of the carnage and demanding more to be done to prevent gun violence. It follows an emotionally charged confrontation at a media conference where the Texas governor's political opponent accused him of failing to act. Lots to cover here. We'll be live in Uvalde very shortly. But first to Barbara Miller in Washington. Barbara, good morning. So the Texas governor has overnight given an update on how the shooting unfolded. That's right. And as you said, it unfolded after a, a confrontation with his grandmother, the 18 year old shot his grandmother. He then fled that scene. Uh, police were alerted to him. He crashed his car. He entered into the nearby Robb Elementary uh, and he came into what the governor described as one classroom which was connected to another classroom. Now all the victims, the 19 children and the two teachers were in that space. There were fourth graders and the ages of some of the children who've now been identified by families are 9, 10 and 11. Now, Governor Greg Abbott, as you said, was interrupted during his media update. That was by Beto O'Rourke. He's a Democratic uh, contender for the seat of governor. He'll take on Governor Greg Abbott in elections later this year. He essentially came into that media briefing and started heckling the governor saying that he needed to act, he needed to do more on gun control. There was a pretty angry reaction from the officials on the podium to that interruption. There was some swearing. Uh, he did then allow himself to be led out of the room. Sit down and don't play this stuff. Sir. The next shooting is right now and you are doing nothing. No, you need to get his ass out of here. This isn't the place to talk to this show. This is totally predictable when you... Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Now, any action on guns uh, seems like a very distant prospect from Governor Greg Abbott. He's due, in fact, to speak at the National Rifle Association's annual meeting in Texas uh, in just a, a couple of days' time. And when he was asked about this tragedy, he again and again seemed to suggest it had nothing to do with guns but with mental illness. Uh, he went into some detail about that, saying that there weren't services in the community, there weren't enough mental health beds in the community. He did, however, say uh, that the alleged gunman had no known mental health issues. Let's just hear a little bit of him now talking about how he's uh, come to the conclusion uh, that mental health seems to be the problem here. And I asked the sheriff and others and open in a question and got the same answer from the sheriff as well as from the mayor of Uvalde. The question was, what is the problem here? And they were straightforward and emphatic. They said, we have a mental, we, we have a problem with mental health illness in this community. Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Barbara, there's been a bit of confusion over whether or not the gunman posted his intentions online prior to the attack. So talk us through that. That's right. So Greg Abbott uh, was very clear that the gunman had posted on Facebook in about the half hour running up to the attack. He went through the post. He said there was a post saying that he was going to shoot his grandmother, a second post saying he had shot her, and a third post suggesting he was going to attack an elementary school. Now, Facebook's parent company, Meta, has now come out and said uh, that's not the case, that what, in fact, the governor was referring to were one-to-one -one text messages. Now, that further adds to the confusion because text messages to many people would suggest perhaps a phone message. Uh, Facebook's director of Meta's director of communications, Andy Stone, has later referred to those communications as messages. So not clear whether he's talking about uh, messages on Instagram or WhatsApp or, or Facebook Messenger. Uh, but Facebook saying it is cooperating with authorities as they investigate this attack and they are suggesting
saying that the governor made a mistake when he talked about the gunman posting online. But once again, here we have social media at the centre or, or at the heart of an investigation into uh, a, a shooting, a, an attack here in America. Barbara Miller in Washington, thank you.